Hello guys, this is Christy from 52hider 3D with the final part of the Stargate tutorial. Sorry it's been so long getting out to you. Um, I've been having lots of problems with the normal maps and bump maps and I've had various other things on. Anyway, it's here now so let's have a quick look. First I'll just uh, say I've done a few extra things that um, in the meantime that we're not going to be covering in this tutorial to the Stargate. Um, one is, if you look here, I've finished all the glyphs and I've just modelled each of these individually. You should be able to work out how to do that. And also I, um, it says here I removed the bevel modifier and I can't remember what the bevel modifier was on um, it was probably on this, I think, on the glyph ring. But anyway, I haven't got a bevel modifier on there anymore. Uh, I think I might have, um, if you look from the front, I've slightly shrunk the outer, the uh, upper surface of each glyph, uh, just with the shrink and flatten tool. Okay, and the other thing is I've changed materials slightly. So if I go to the node editor, um, this is the Naquita material now. I can't quite remember what I changed in it, but um, this is what it looks like. So texture coordinates goes into the image texture, which is the metal, and that goes to a brightness and contrast where the contrast is minus 0.3 and that color goes into the color of the diffuse and the roughness of the glossy those both go into the mix shader which goes to the material output let's have a quick look at the um, the chevron color as well um, this just the chevrons aren't going to look perfect purely because um, I haven't got time to texture them properly but um, I've just had got an emission and a glossy, both are, are orange, and they just mix together 50-50. Okay, and yeah, I've also improved the lighting. Um, I've got now one spot lamp casting that way. <coughs> Excuse me, like that. And I've also moved the camera, just so it look, kind of looks cool there. Uh, you can move that wherever you want. Uh, so let's get started on what we're actually trying to do today. I'm trying to um, get the normal mapping for the nice textures on around the edge, the nice designs. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the back. Um, I'm sure you can work it out for yourself doing the back. So um, yeah, I'm just going to be doing the the nice texture on the front. So let's open up the UV image editor and we've got the reference you can see we've got this nice effect here and these dits along here and zigzags so let's show you how to do that I'm going to open up the node editor and first thing we need to do is duplicate this Naquita material so click on the little 4 there and call one of them uh, this is the main ring, so we don't want it to be that one, so we want that one to be called Naquita. And then right click on something else, which will now be called Naquita 001. Um, so this is the glyph ring, but you also want to do it for the chevron. So rename this Naquita No Bump. And let's see what on the chevrons. Yeah, it's changed it to Naquita No Bump as well but the main ring wants to be the usual Naquita. So, let's have a look at this now. We want to add in a new image texture. Input, oh no, texture, image texture. And open up an image. Now I've created a new bump map for you, which you can download from facebook.com slash 52hider3d. Um, it's bump map, 
for Blender, I've called it. Um, and you can find that, yeah, on my Facebook page. It's not a normal map because I've been having a lot of trouble with the normal mapping. Um, so I've just had to make do with a bump map, which doesn't give nearly as nice results, but it was the only thing I could come up with. So it's just opening that. And then we need to add in a new node, and I can't, I think it's in vector. Yep, it's in vector bump and you just drag in the color of the um, bump map into the height of the bump node and then you can drag the normals from the bump node into the normal of the glossy and the normal of the diffuse and let's have a look at how this works Okay, and this is looking rather strange because it isn't properly UV mapped. So we need to open up the image in the UV image editor. And it's called Bump Map Blender. There we go. Okay. You've got all that selected, and we want to unwrap. Now we need to scale and rotate this until it's in the right place. And, I'll, and for that purpose, I've got an, another image which you can also download for the same, from the same place. So I'll open image and it's got bump map for Blender with UVs. Okay. And so if we now map it up. We can't do this perfectly because um, I did these on a. Well, we could actually we could try. So if we grab these. Oh, I think I know why it's not working quite properly. If I unwrap that again and choose conformal instead of angle based, and you see there it snapped perfectly to my map. So I'll just do that again for you. You unwrap and then down in the toolbar here, change the method from angle based to conformal. Now let's go back to the node editor and we just probably need to tell this image texture to use UVs. So we can just drag the UV from there into the vector of the image texture. Let's try rendering this again. And that gives a nice pattern around the edge. It isn't as nice and clean as it would be with a normal map, um, but yeah, there's some problems with the normal mapping at the moment, and I really don't understand how it works. So uh, I just have to make do with a bump map. And obviously, because we unwrapped it on the uh, the one with UVs, we now need to change it back to the first one. And that's better yet. Yeah. So, is there anything else left to do on this? Let's have a look. <laughs> I think this is looking pretty good. And I think that is about all for this tutorial. So yeah I'll sort of do a bit more work on it and maybe post a really finished render later maybe an animated render and I'll maybe do a quick video on just running through how I did that extra render but uh, yeah for now let's give this a proper render and just check everything's fine And here's the finished image taken from that camera position I showed you earlier with the map, the uh, bump mapping all nicely set up. So uh, we, let's just try it like that. Looks quite good against the black background. 
Um, so you can of course take this into Photoshop or GIMP and do some extra work on it. You could even take it into the, the compositor and do some extra stuff in there like maybe some glare and just some uh, gl cool glowing effects and lens flare and that sort of thing. But I'm not going to go into that right now. So from me, Christy at 52 hider 3 d goodbye, thanks for watching. Post your renders on facebook.com slash 52 hider 3 d Please like, subscribe and share this video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.